everyone, my name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews and you can find me over on Instagram, that's where I post most of my sewing things. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new and hi, thank you for coming by and watching my videos. Um, and welcome back if you've subscribed. Um, thank you so much to everyone that subscribed to my YouTube channel. I started it about a year ago and then just stopped because work got in the way and life got in the way and we had quite a lot of tricky stuff going on so I had to stop. But recently I've found filming videos has really helped with everything that's going on at the moment. Um, and I'm really enjoying filming and talking about sewing and sharing that with everybody. So thank you so, so much to everybody that has clicked subscribe or liked videos. I've had loads of comments and it's, it's just so lovely. So thank you so much. And thank you to anyone that has shouted out my channel. I've had a couple of people. So um, Tamlin, thank you. Um, it's really kind of you. So, um, in my last video I said that I was going to do a fabric haul, but I'm going to wait because I've got a couple of parcels of fabric coming which I'm really excited about, so I'm going to wait and film that maybe in a few days. Um, so today I thought I'd do um, March, what I got up to um, and all my makes from March. So, I went, I find Instagram great at helping me to remember what I've sewn in what, what month. So, um, I spent a bit of time this morning making a list of all the things and I managed to sew quite a few things in March which I was quite surprised about. So I managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten things. A couple of like the same pattern but in different fabrics. So um, I'm not going to put all of these on. Um, in my last makes video I found it easier to just put images in of me. So I'll put images sort of here or here. I'm still getting to grips with this whole editing thing. Um, but I'll put pictures in of me wearing it. Otherwise the video will go on forever and ever and ever. So... I also have, where possible, the patterns to hold up and show you as well, just in case you don't know what they are. But I'll show you what I am wearing, and I've sh shared photos of this. This is fabric from a So Haley Jane box, so I subscribe to her uh, fabric boxes. Um, so if you don't know So Haley Jane, she has amazing fabric boxes, and there's three different levels of subscription. And I subscribe to the middle one, which is £35 a month. And in it, you get two and a half metres of fabric, you get loads of fat quarters loads of like haberdashery bits, you get some gutterman thread, there's always a sweet treat which is lovely. Um, I don't know if I've ever shared on here but I am actually allergic to chocolate so if ever there's chocolate in my box my girls love it because it means that they get to eat it but if there's not, like if there's, uh, I think we've had lollipops and we've had a Haribo and that sort of thing before, I'm really excited because I get to eat it. So anyway, I have made the Safia dungarees from Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book, which I've got here. And I have tapped it this time so I can show you the patterns without having to flick through. So this is the dungarees and they're called the um, Sophia dungarees. Yeah, I was looking for the title then. The Sophia dungarees and you can make them as trousers or you can make them as dungarees. Um, and there's also a play suit um, that you can make as well, which I haven't made yet, but I've seen some amazing ones on Instagram. Um, Adele from Button and Pip made a fantastic one, so go across to her her Instagram and have a look because it's beautiful. It's really making me want to make that pattern. I think it's the only thing I haven't made out of the book. So, I am wearing the Sophia dungarees. I've got the little belt tie. I will put better images in, uh, and this fabric is just I just love it. It's not something that I would have chosen, but that's what I really love about um, Haley's boxes quite often. There's fabric in there that I just would not have chosen. So that's make number one. Um, and then I've also, I might as well show you the other. Oh, I shouldn't have hung. It's going to make the camera wobble. Um, I've shared these already in my um, YouTube video where I talk about the Make It Simple book. So if you haven't seen that, go and have a look because I've made everything in there apart from the play suit. Um, I made these beautiful cord um, Sophia dungarees and the, my favourite things about it is the facing made in this pretty fabric and the pockets because you've got to have pockets and again using this pretty fabric from a So Haley Jane box. They are probably my favourite thing that I've ever made. They're so comfortable, they've got deep pockets, I just absolutely love them and I'm obsessed with this colour at the moment. So. I'll put pic proper pictures in of me wearing those and of wearing these two. So those are two things that I made. Then, again, still obsessed with Tilly's book, I have made some more uh, Tabitha drawstring dresses. So this, oh, this is the Tabitha. It's beautiful. So you can make it as a t-shirt or you can make the drawstring dress. It's a bit of a mouthful. 
and I have made, I've not been sensible about this at all, I've left all the things next to the camera so I'm really sorry if it was wobbling. Uh, again I've shared these on Instagram already, two um, Tabitha dresses. So the first one is made using two of Tilly's new fabrics. So the rainbow stripe and then the hands. Um, and I wore this dress yesterday because we had a video conferencing like staff meeting and uh, I wore this not realising that some of the hands where they're positioned on me it's like the hands are trying to like grope me um, hopefully it looked alright on camera but anyway I love this dress I think it's really fun um, and I'll insert images of me wearing it so that's number three and then this um, I mean I'd, I'm probably not the only person that needs this but I have just really needed cheering up recently and I've been finding um, a lot of joy in what I'm wearing. So as what I'm wearing today, I just need bright clothes at the moment, especially when I'm going into work and it's all just a bit weird. My class aren't there, but we're looking after lots of other children and everything's just a bit different. So um, I've been really enjoying wearing bright. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I love colour in my wardrobe anyway, but look at this. Isn't it fun? I just love it, I love that fabric, it's just beautiful. Fabric is from uh, Material Girl Laura. For the other uh, the other um, makes that I've talked about, if I haven't said where the fabric's from, I'll make sure I link it down below and um, I'll link all the patterns too. But this, I just love it. I wore it, I think I wore it last week when we had some sunshine and I didn't put tights on. Um, it was freezing, I probably should have put tights on, but I just wanted to wear something spring-like for the lovely weather that was bright and colourful. And I've got some amazing um, trainers from Zara that I bought a few years ago, which are rainbow sparkles. If I can find a picture of me wearing them, I'll put a picture of, well, I'll definitely put a picture of me wearing this dress anyway, but I'll put a picture of me wearing the trainers if I can. And if I get a chance whilst I'm filming this, I'll see if I can grab them because my shoes are literally just there. So that's make number four. Next make, my favourite. Uh, so my twin sister lives in Manchester and she got tickets to the Global Awards um, through like a radio station. She phoned in and won tickets. Um, because she lives in Manchester, she asked could she stay with me and would I like to go along with her. So um, of course I said yes. Um, I love it when she comes to London, we don't get to see each other a huge amount um, and she doesn't get to come to London very often, she's got three children and she's a nurse. Thank you for everything that you do, Gem, um, for the NHS. So yeah, we had a girly evening and it was so much fun, um, but obviously I had to wear something new, because why not? When I went to the uh, Stitch Festival and I got to meet Shelley, the lovely Shelley, hi Shelley if you're watching, um, terrible influence on stopping me from buying fabric. She was like, yeah, just buy everything. And I did just buy everything. It was really fun. So thank you, Shelley. It was really lovely to meet you. And I got this amazing fabric uh, from the Fabric Godmother. Uh, it's like a um, scuba. So it's got stretch. It's very, very fitted. And it's a very firm fabric. But uh, I made, and if you follow me for a while, you'll probably be able to guess... The Sirocco jumpsuit, this version with the cat sleeve, um, and I absolutely love it. I love it. And again, I'll put images of me wearing this because when I hold it up, you're not really going to get to see it. It's got lovely pockets, and I love the pleat detail too. But um, oh, I just loved wearing it. I felt amazing wearing it, and I'm obsessed with this colour at the moment, as you will see when you see my olive pinafore. Um, so yeah. Love that, one of my favourite makes, absolutely. And the Deer and Doe, Deer and Doe, not Deer and Doe, Deer and Doe Sirocco is so easy to put together. Like it comes together in a couple of hours. It's it's great and the instructions are just, they're really straightforward actually. I didn't have any issues. The only bit that I found a bit tricky was the, the pleats. It's not obvious which way you fold them, but maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, love that. Next. I'll show you two of the same, well not, not the same, they're made in different fabrics, but I've, and I've shared these again in my, um, my video about Make It Simple book, but I have made the Olive Pinafore. So I'll show you in the book, this is the Olive Pinafore. Uh, yep, and I love it. I don't know if this, I'm sure there are line drawings in there. Uh, yeah, it's quite straightforward. 
We've got these quite deep darts in the front and the same in the back and then lots of buttons from top to bottom. Or you can use snaps, which is what I've used. Um, so Ken, in this lovely rust colour, but I do love, how cool is that lining? Scrap fabric that I had. So um, yeah, that's number one. And again, I'll put pictures of me wearing this. And then I made another one using the most fun, oh, and that fabric is from uh, Sew Me Sunshine. I will link below. And then I made another one in this gorgeous, like floral, really soft um, corduroy. And this is from uh, Material Girl Laura. And again, I just had to pick a really fun facing fabric, which is this. It's cute, isn't it? Um, and then for the uh, facing inside, because I didn't have enough of that. Like I like using scraps for facings. I uh, had some Liberty uh, fabric. I don't know if you can see that left over. It's got rockets on, it's really cute, and little lightning bolts. Um, absolutely love it, absolutely love that. The fabric's so soft, it's just, it's beautiful. So thank you, Laura, for amazing fabric. Then I made, I'm just trying to find my list, which I think has fallen on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Then I made uh, the Jennifer Lauren Gable. Now, could I? I couldn't find because it's a PDF. I couldn't find the front that says what it is, but these are the line drawings. So you can make um, a pleated skirt, or you can do the gathered, and I did the gathered skirt um, in this again amazing fabric from um, Sumi Sunshine. And I was inspired by seeing somebody make something in this fabric on Instagram, and I'll link their details below. But isn't that fabric just? fun it's beautiful and then I've also put um, a little label in from pink coat club that says made with blood sweat and tears and I love this it's beautiful and I can't wait to wear it um, yeah in the springtime or in the summer when it eventually warms up and I'll put pictures of me wearing this up here and then the last thing to share is the um, Bobby from Tilly and the Buttons this video is all about Tilly again I just love her patterns, they're so straightforward and they're beautiful. Um, and I just had to copy this version because I saw the mustard, I'm obsessed with mustard, obsessed with rust, obsessed with colour in general. So I just had to copy the front, that version, because um, I found this fabric on Sew Me Sunshine, again obsessed with Harriet's lovely fabric. There we go, I love the pockets. Again, I'll put pictures in, uh, it's really difficult to hold this up because of the bib and the straps and the buckles, etc. But I did want to share with you what I lined the bib. Look at that. With little like typewriters. So cute. And then the pockets, again using a So Hilly Jane fat quarter. It's like, oh, I hope that comes up. I think the light is quite, the light is really shining. It's quite dark in my flat at the moment. Uh, little love hearts, it's cute. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed making the bobby because of the, um, so it's a bit slower to make. There's lots of lovely, amazing steps, like the top stitching and the pocket detail. It just, it comes together really nicely, but it, it's quite methodical, I guess. So if you have got lots going on in your brain, um, having something like that to just work your way through step by step. And you can also do it bit by bit, which is great. So I didn't have to make it all at once. I could do a little bit, like, you know, sort the pockets out and then, leave it and then the next day come back and do the bib and then the next day sort the straps out um it was a really really lovely make and again pattern fab instructions brilliant i'm just gonna see if i can find those right oh yeah trainers are here i knew they would be um these how cool are they they're a bit dirty because i wear them all the time um but yeah i love them because um they just cheer me up and I can wear them with loads of things. Like I'd wear them with this, uh, to be honest, because they're rainbow and they're glittery. How cool are they? Um, yeah, they're my happy trainers. They really make me smile. And anytime I wear them, like sometimes I've worn them to school if we've had like a muffy day or whatever, and the children have said, um, I love your trainers. Or I work with four-year-olds, so quite often they'll stroke my feet, which is quite a normal thing for four-year-olds to do. Well, that's it. That's all of my makes for March. Thank you so much for watching. I'm smiling because I wasn't going to show you this, but on the floor, 
I'm filming videos for my class at the moment because we don't know how long we're going to be off school for um, and although I'm still in teaching I'm not teaching all of my class and I still want to keep in touch with them I, I think it's really important for them to know that I still think about them and care about them so that's why we've got lots of teddies in the background um, I filmed me reading The Tiger Who Came to Tea and I've got a tiger onesie and I wore it on book day uh, I haven't got the tail because my daughter came in like two minutes before I was about to film this video and stole my tail. Um, but yeah, I was dressed as a tiger, reading the tiger who came to tea. That's why I'm smiling. Um, yeah, I'm finding joy in lots of little things at the moment. Uh, currently making some more pyjamas because I'm spending so much time inside, so why not be cosy? Um, so I will be back hopefully in a few days, I've got a bit more time to film, so once more parcels arrive I will film a fabric haul. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!